Greetings folks, carrying on the theme of ELRS3 and the ability to add full resolution channels. Uh, so we're talking about the 100Hz full packet rate and the 16 channel rate, uh, 16 channel half rate switch mode, which um, gives us 16 full resolution channels. Now we've still got to remember that channel five is not really usable as a full resolution channel. It still has the requirement uh, that channel 5 has to be high or 2000 uh, for ELRS to operate safely and uh, as expected. Now that's sort of hard coded into the, uh, the code of ELRS uh, and that helps with the uh, low latency possibilities. Uh, it also, it's so that ELRS knows that the model is armed uh, and that arming information gets sent with every packet so it's sort of a safety feature I suppose. Uh, it's also so that the dynamic uh, power, I've got 100 milliwatts dynamic power there, so that power adjusts itself as required from 100 milliwatts down to 25, I guess, or whatever it is. Uh, for that dynamic power to work properly, uh, the channel 5 has to be at high, or ELRS needs to know that the model is armed. And also in some circumstances, the Lua script could be altered in flight. Channel five being high is also a requirement to lock the Lua script so that it can't be altered while you're flying. So those reasons plus others I'm sure that I don't know about um, mean that channel five always has to be locked in the high position when you're flying. So we do get 16 full resolution channels, but one of them uh, is virtually not usable. So does that mean that this little five channel receiver is actually only four channel? Uh, not really, because that channel five requirement is on the transmitter. It's not necessarily on the receiver. And although the pins here say channel five there, that doesn't actually have to be channel five output. So we can uh, connect via Wi-Fi to the web interface, uh, the ELRS web interface, and change uh, the mapping of these pins to something else like channel six. So then we have full five, full resolution channels uh, on this five channel receiver. And the transmitter takes care of the fact that channel five needs to be high. Now to set up channel five so that it goes high when we're flying, I have a throttle cut switch. This is the SF switch on the back here, uh, which overrides channel three. So that's a throttle cut switch. Now we can just assign channel five to this switch here. So that achieves the purpose of uh, making channel five high when we're actually flying. So let's do that now. So channel five and just select channel, uh, select switch SF for channel five. And now you can see throttle cut is on when we Stop the throttle cut, channel five goes high, and that um, satisfies the ELRS requirements. Another little thing with the PWM side of ELRS is that there are only these five channel receivers available. So uh, at the moment, we can't get receivers with more outputs. However, you can actually combine two of these five channel receivers to get 10 PWM channels via ELRS if you want to. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, to remap the pins, uh, we fire up the receiver with power without the radio turned on, and then we just wait until the uh, receiver goes into Wi-Fi mode, and we'll get this fast flashing LED there. So there we're in Wi-Fi mode now. When that starts flashing fast, you can set how long that delay is. I think that seems to be about a minute or so. So that will be transmitting uh, a Wi-Fi network, so we just need to connect to that network on your computer and once you do that this uh, express lrs uh, wi-fi screen will show up and we click on model scroll down and here you can see we can select which input uh, operates which output so channel five if you want all five full resolution channels we can change that to a different channel such as channel six, let's say. Set PWM output and click OK, and that is done. So now we have channels one, two, three, four, six 
on that five channel receiver and set up the channels on the other receiver now so same thing plug power in and just wait for it to go into Wi-Fi mode and once again connect to the Wi-Fi network choose model and change the uh, pin sets to whatever channel you want so what are we going to use say seven eight nine ten how about that and eleven so we've got uh, one two three four six on the other receiver and on this receiver we've got seven eight nine ten eleven and we'll set up channel five in the transmitter Click OK and get out of there. So once we've changed which channel operates which pin on these receivers, uh, we can plug some servos in and uh, actually I'll power them up first. Of course you have to power each receiver separately. We just have uh, five volts going into the receivers. Wait for them to connect. There we have Two receivers connected now and I have all 10 channels available to me on PWM so I'll plug a servo into the Adon channel, channel 1 on the first receiver and that works fine and let's plug uh, into channel 1 on the second receiver which is channel 6 effectively and I have channel 6 on this uh, left slider there all working nicely on different channels. So there you go, you can get uh, 10 channels from two five channel receivers and uh, you can have channel five in the transmitter as not even anything on these, on these receivers. So you can have the full 10 channels, full resolution if you want to. Thanks for watching.